Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw, Editorial Director at TigerFitness.com. Old power builder, been doing this for 30 years, guys, 30 years and still love it. Guys, in this video, I want to talk about adding volume. I get the question quite often, should I add volume? Is it okay for me to add volume? I just don't feel like my workouts are getting it done. Should I add volume? Big, hairy, ugly dude. Should I add volume? Now, before you go adding volume, I want you to ask yourself a question. And this goes for late beginners, early intermediates, and intermediates as well. I'm not speaking to advanced lifters here. I'm speaking to the guys that are still mucking it out, making consistent progress, or unsatisfied with their progress, and they want to know if they should add volume. Before you go adding volume, and this applies to a full body workout, an upper-lower split, or what guys call a bro split, split or a body part split. Before you go adding volume, ask yourself, are you maximizing every set currently? A lot of times, most of the time, if you're heading to the gym and you're just using some random weight and you're not pushing yourself on each set, of course you're going to feel like your workouts aren't as difficult, aren't as intense as they should be. Now the question becomes, hey, big, hairy, ugly dude, big, old power builder, you, what does it mean to maximize your set? It means you have some consistent form of progression, some progressional goal on that set. Whatever that set may be, you could be doing three sets of 10 for an exercise, and when you hit three sets of 10, your goal could be... Uh, when you hit three sets of 10, the goal should be to add weight or something like that. I prefer to maximize every set. I prefer to push every set for as many reps as possible, stopping that set when you feel like you might fail on the next rep or when your form goes to crap. I don't want you doing reps that are with bad form, reps that are have the potential to get you hurt. I want you to focus on progression. I want you to focus on pushing sets to the limit. Now, if you do that, that's going to change your game. I've trained with a lot of guys who don't do this. This is a lost art. This is a foreign concept to many of you. These guys feel kind of like they're training okay. Their training's not going as good as they thought. They wonder about switching programs. They're looking for a new program. They're wondering what they can do to improve, et cetera, et cetera. When they train with me and they start training in this style where they're taking sets to the limit, pushing sets for as many reps as possible, they usually walk out of the gym and say, that was a good workout. If you train using this style, you probably aren't going to be able to do over 20 sets unless you're feeling superhuman that day. At about 15, 16 sets for the day, you will feel like you're done, you wanna go eat. So, before you go adding volume to your work, to your workouts, be it on a full body, upper, lower, or body part split, I want you to analyze your training. How many sets are you truly pushing to the limit? How many sets are you pushing for as many reps as possible? Now, you don't have to do that on every set in the gym. I don't do that on every set every day. But the majority of your sets need to be like this. If you're not doing this, if this is a foreign concept to you, I want you to do this for six months. I want you to do this for six months. Attack each set and then take a look at your results, your muscle building results, your strength building results. If that's not working, then add some volume. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, guys, there's a Q&A link below. Head over to that Q&A. I answer every question posted. And if you've made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I would appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.